Hey everyone, and welcome back to round three at the Lazalia Division of Insane Difficulty Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI Tournament. In this video, we're going to have two rounds, or two matches, I guess. First is going to be Derevan's Delight versus Madam X's Minions, and the second video is going to be Jehovah Rapha versus No Extra Mans. Again, we've seen these teams before, we'll just go over them quickly. Loyal Family Pet the Goblin, Flash the Geomancer, Gretchen 3 the Thief, and Odd Job the Ninja for Darabon's Delight, and Anacletos the Marksman, Athanasius the Lancer, Alala the Summoner, and Amintas the Samurai. And that is for Madam X. Uh, we've seen we've seen Darabon's Delight totally destroy every team they've come across so far. We'll see if they're I was gonna say luck. Let's see if the, their skill keeps them going. First map is going to be map 43. Which is Wargelis Port. This is a very small map. A very awkward one as well. This is not one of the ones used normally. This is only used for one scene between Ramza and Delita. So the, the ninja gets in range immediately and throws a dictionary. And the marksman decides to go for the one unit that has the highest evasion for some reason. Still hit through 37% though. Counter throw misses. Demon Fire, 70 damage, Counter Flood. No Petrifies, which is nice. Well, I guess it depends on who, who side you're rooting for. It's not a very strong Chakra, but it helps the Marksman stay out of critical so she'll stay in the battle. <laughs> Guarded twice. Ninja jumps off the ship and runs into the back ranks. Flood, no petrify. You're gonna get a charmer bag smack. Bag smack. 100 damage. It's pretty decent. Bags use the random, random damage axe formula, so you can roll for pretty high. Jump it on the goblin and take a note. The marksman cancels the rejuvenate. Going in for the summoner. Only doing about 50 damage or so. <laughs> Only 80. That's pretty sad, too. Ouch. The thief had nowhere to run against that concentrate samurai. And the goblin goes down, too. This is looking bad for Darabon's delight. Took out the summoner. I thought she had 152 HP. Hmm. Only 28 damage for the 130 on the counter swing. Oh, and the double shot takes her out. So it's two against one. This ninja. Attacking probably was a bad idea, you know. <laughs> wow. So Darabon's Delight loses. Pretty quickly, actually. Alright. Round two. We're going to map 47, I believe. Yes, 47, Zargidus Trade City. So that, that was a pretty surprising turnaround. I expected Darabon's Delight to take another clean sweep, but they lost the first match. We'll see if they can get a take a comeback or if they're just going to lose 2-0. Speedy units are moving up. <laughs> All three of Darabon's Delight moves first, which is pretty amusing. And Geomancer. Teams are pretty far away, there's not much happening quite yet. 170 damage on the summoner. Gets back 90, but though thanks to auto potion. One of the really strong reaction abilities in this tournament since it heals 90. It's, it's pretty necessary in my opinion, thanks to all the huge melee damage that's being thrown around in this. Steel weapon misses. 
really wouldn't even be that bad of a loss since he still has his throws to do lots of damage. It would destroy his uh, evasion. Another Papyrus Plate on Summoner takes her out. Fist. I missed on the counter throw. Bag smack, 84. No counter. That would have been bad if it had a hit. 32% eye gouge misses. Goblins need something like concentrate. <laughs> I just want monsters to be stronger. Rejuvenate from the marksman for 100. Steel eye. We got some grouping here. I don't think she could have gotten in a better position. Wow. Better damage. No slow thanks to the uh, wind strike or whatever it's called. Cancels Rejuvenate with the Bag Smack. Wow, even through his 51% evasion. That's impressive. Attack over 72. It looks like Darabon's Delight is on the backswing again. Oh wait. I guess it, they, they... Oh wait, they're winning. <laughs> I apparently had no idea what I was talking about. So that... Samurai only has two more turns to live. He only has one more action before he dies. Taking down the marksman and getting countered. HP restore on the Lancer. And down goes the Goblin. Are we gonna see a Petrify? We do. <laughs> the bad part about this is that they're just gonna wait while the Samurai goes on support. But that's fine, because you know, the Ninja can take down the Marksman and the Samurai is dead. And there's nowhere, nowhere to go, nothing to do. We're just gonna wait until he gets his turn and dies. And just Phoenix down the goblin. Just because, just for fun. And high speed makes the difference. And Samurai dies. Alright. So, we're going to a rematch in just a minute. A tiebreaker, I mean, not a rematch. Alright, here we're back for the tiebreaker. We're going to map 44. Which is Brevenia Free City. This decides who takes the win and who takes the loss. If Darabon's Delight wins, I'm pretty sure that means they're gonna make it out of this division and into the tournament proper. Since this will be their third win. If they lose, they'll still have seven points since they won their other two matches. If they lose, they'll still get a point. So they still have a pretty high chance of uh, getting out of the tournament bracket. Or the round robin bracket, sorry. Everyone's moving into place. Whoa. 250 for Pyrus played on that summoner mid charge. It's pretty deadly. We're going for a full life on the summoner as well. Jump on the teeth. Her evasion is useless against the jump. Pitfall on the uh, marksman. And her counter flood. That ninja's doing work, I tell you. Getting all the mid charges. And 40 damage on the geomancer. Counter flood. No petrifying. That would have been. It would have been really bad. For Madam X here. Oh wait, this isn't that max, is it? No idea it is. <laughs> Little scatterbrain, I've only been away for a few hours so far. Sorry about that. Turn punch brings down the maximum again. And down the Oh no. And they're still alive. Interesting turn of events. Healed the summoner. Auto potion deals with that double blow. Could have been a lot worse. Secret fist on the lancer. Death sentence is very good against 
high HP targets like Lancers. He's gonna go for a ram move. Hits both of them. See, 108 damage to the ninja. Goblin doesn't care about the ninja, he takes it anyway. Oh, stole her weapon, I believe, and petrified. Well, she no longer has auto regen, but Madame X is a bit, uh, a bit outnumbered at this point, actually, in my opinion. I don't know, something could change. Kotetsu drops the Geomancer, <laughs> jumps up on the house to run away, which is just gonna revive, I wish, I mean. And Pitfall, 70 damage, no prop. Samurai has a little bit of respite up on the roof, but he's gonna come in to attack anyway. Drop the ninja. Or the thief is just gonna revive him immediately. Crystallize. She's attacking the goblin. Yeah, I was gonna say, that means the samurai must be really low. And he's dead. Yup. Darabon's Delight wins. Which means that he moves on to the tournament proper after this. Alright, for the second round we have Jehovah Rapha in brown and no extra mans in green. Jalel the Thief, Abraham the Chemist, Samson the Lancer, Aaron the Oracle. I'm just going to speed through this. We've already seen all these teams already a few times, so we already know what they can do. One of two women's the Oracle, two of two women's the Wizard, one of two man's the Thief, and two of two man's the Knight. Alright. Map is map 48. Slums of Zargidus. Is this where you meet Eris? I think that's right. Yes, yeah, this is where you meet the flower girl. So they're actually really close for some reason. This could be treated as a large map if they were separated by a bit more. Although I guess one team would have the advantage with the height difference thanks to all the houses on one side. Whatever, I didn't make the designations of small, medium, and large. 168 damage wave fist was guarded. Is that a paralyze or a sleep? It's one of the two. Stole the armor. Confusion song on the thief. Hit. And Beholder on the thief hit as well, breaking confusion. <laughs> yeah, it's a paralyze. One hit, two hit. That's devastating. The Lancer just drops down and does nothing. Steel Helmet actually misses. I had a pretty good chance, 72%. Is the Oracle gonna is Suna? And the wizard's going for another meal there on the Lancer this time. Heartache strike on the wizard's sleep. Ah, that's nice. The uh the, the, the AI is very good at targeting, especially um what was I saying? They're really good at targeting without directly targeting, and I don't know what I'm exactly trying to say, but I think you get the idea. They targeted the oracle with uh, the gunshot, but hit the wizard instead. Because if they had targeted the wizard, they would have hit the knight instead. Thanks to the direct line of sight that guns have. Ooh, nice. Triple panel earth slash, but missed on the thief. So that silent song was very strong against the two casters. Looks like they're out of the match. Unless one of their units has a uh, stigma magic. I believe the knight does. I know he has punch art, that's all I know. So it took her hat, it's probably... Actually, I don't know what it is. Just... You would think that she'd have golden hairpin, but... 
Maybe she has like a plus MA item or had a plus MA. I don't know. I guess checking it really doesn't make a difference now since it's gone. Remedy cures. Oh, nice. Remedy does cure silence. It does not cure don't act though. Got another piece of equipment stolen. 25% guard, it's not bad. The thief is just guarding all the attacks and wasting their turns at the same time. Oracle's gonna go for, uh, I think, a spirit search. Remedy on the Oracle. It looks like they're back in action except for that don't act it wizard, which is dead now. <laughs> Stealing everything. <laughs> yeah, that knight's down to 200 hit points from 400. <laughs> Having a rough go of it. Full life will bring her up at least to a pretty decent uh, HP. Well, a heartache strike does cancel it with Berserk. Double panel. Paralyze, spin fist. Guarded and hit. So it hit the only relevant unit, I guess. The Berserk Oracle isn't going to be much of a problem. Guild toss for anti sandbag. <laughs> 40 damage. That's not the worst, actually. Especially on a unit with such low hit points. Miss the steal. She's gonna stand in the cure AoE. Get back up to full, or close to it. Thief is gonna keep sandbagging on the wizard. The wizard's gonna haste and teleport next to the thief, of course. I'm still gonna get taken down by the Lancer though. No more sandbagging? Yep. This is the dangerous part of uh, AI team building, is getting stuck in these sandbag loops. You need to be able to have a way of getting out of it, something like full life. Or uh, maybe revive is good for it. Just healing 1 to 20 hit points of Phoenix down gets you stuck in loops like this. Silent song on the already preserved oracle gets guarded, so. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Guilt us. Bringing it down once again. He's gonna attack the thief this time. Critical takes him out of the place. This will end pretty soon. The knight with no equipment. Down. Kill the toss. CT save. Spirit surge. It's a thief room. And the knight. HP restore. He was at 40 points. Still the armor of the oracle as well. There's not really much to say at this point. I don't see the team in blue winning. Especially since that Lancer has the knight preoccupied. So if the knight's not in range to use revive on his other units, it's really not going to. So if that Lancer can stay within the knight's range, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not what you need to be doing. You need to be tanking his shots. Keeping him preoccupied. I'm just ganging up on the Berserk Oracle. I wonder if he's in range for a revive now. He might be. <laughs> okay, never mind. He's dead. There we go.
All right, so Jehovah Rapha won the first round, and second is going to take place in t map 50, which is St. Moron Temple. We'll see if they can take another win, or if uh, no extra mans can get the comeback here. Any form of uh, height, uh, you know, ignore height, teleport, fly, anything like that is very useful in this map. Although I don't know if anyone had. Yep, oh, the Lancer has ignore height. That's pretty good. Although that does mean that he's going to be by himself facing this other team. Since instead of going around, they're just going to run up top. At least the two mages are. Oh, never mind. He's got some help with the Oracle. 100% haste. The AI puts a huge priority on haste. Which is why, if you've ever played the game and noticed that uh, Ovelia loves his spam M barrier, especially once haste wears off, that's why. Stolen. Didn't catch what that was, but I'm pretty sure it was some sort of armor or hat. Guarded with the wave fist. That's probably sleep. Or silent song, actually. Oh, nice. Reflect. Yeah, it was silent song, but no bueno. I knew it was one of the two since Paralyze has uh, zero height tolerance. Don't act on the Lancer, it's gonna force him to run. Steel accessory misses. Steel armor hits. Lots of stealing going on in this match. If only that chemist had a uh, battle skill, he could get on the action with equipment breaks too. We're gonna see a uh, paralyze, I bet. 24 damage. Not really sure why. Oh, she's gonna. <laughs> she's gonna bounce a Mjolnir off her friend. Just for fun, I guess. <laughs> 300 damage. These gunshots aren't very strong. And that chemist is isolated now. That's no good. It looks like No Extra Mans has a huge advantage in this after separating their team and isolating them. <laughs> Bouncing haste off the corpse for no reason. That's cool. And sleep hits. Since he had Don't Act on him, all of his evasion was cancelled. CT save. More haste. Everybody haste. <laughs> Protect. Power ruin. I think I've seen this before. I guess that was a wall, not protect. It's gonna steal, there you go. I'm gonna put him to sleep, steal all the stuff, power root him down to one. <laughs> and the elder on the chemist is gonna be dropped at 20 for points. Wall on the thief. Hey, see if they bothered to actually do this stuff. Oh, no. If they bothered to cast these spells before it came to this point, they'd be a lot better. But at this point, it's just adding insult to injury. It's what we call in Magic the Gathering. Win more cards. If if it helps you win only when you're winning, it's not really that good. <laughs> Paralyzed misses the Lancer. Haste. Yep. Steel. Steel armor hits. I guess power rune. No nope, chakra. Units are crystallizing. No extra mans. He's eventually going to take it. Mjolnir. Hi, Ether. 
The steam plants are dead or something? Don't act. Yep, he's dead. Alright. So no extra man's made a comeback, so we're going on to round three. Alright, we're back for the tiebreaker between Jehovah Rapha and No Extra Mans. And we're going to map 46, I think. We just did 50, right? Yep. So 46. Cemetery of Heavenly Night Balbanes. This is considered a medium map, I guess because the units are closer together. Because it's a very long map, yeah. I guess, yeah, they're not, they don't start in the water, which is why it's considered a media map. It would be a bit unfortunate if they did. And we're just moving up. Everyone's getting in position. Just gonna stand next to the Oracle to get the double panel haste. I was gonna say, yeah, uh, how is it, how did he have 62% hit with a gun, but he's going for a time strike. Since the damage formula for Time Strike is not the gun damage formula, even though you're using a gun, it is you're still susceptible to evasion. Miss the Steel Heart to cancel Spirit Surge. 85 damage anyway, it's not that strong. It's nice for picking off weakened units though. 26% confusion. It's probably not going to hit if I was the wager. And a 37% stop, or a uh, Mjolnir, I mean. Now, if the Confusion Song hits, the Mjolnir will hit. But I doubt the first one's gonna connect. Yeah. When you're confused, you lose all of your evasion. Our potion. Guarded. You're just gonna start stealing stuff. <laughs> there goes your helmet. Heartache Strike. Confusion, that's nice. Spirit Surge. Guarded. CT save. Requires HP damage to trigger. Slow, 21%. She's just gonna hit herself with it, I guess. Still a helmet. Confusion wears off. Wow. I hit both of them, that's pretty lucky. Well, I guess it's lucky and unlucky. Crit takes out the thief. Missed the steel helmet. Huh? We got here time strike on the knight. And a don't act as well. So it looks like the chemist decided to ignore this battle and go over to the other one. I'm just gonna gang up on the knight, all three of them. And the knight should be able to resurrect the thief now. He's not going to though. But since the lancer moved, he had the chance to get in there. He didn't bother though. This is a really weird, like, <laughs> I don't know how to call this. The, the teams are separated. Everything is weird. 28% don't act. That thief can really tank both of those casters with her huge magic of aid. The uh, paralyzed was guarded by the knight. Here comes the jump for 160. Paralyze hits. Oh wow. And the owner will hit now thanks to paralyze. And no HP restore on the knight either. It's too bad. Uh, chakra for 100. So I guess they're gonna recover a bit. The Oracle has rejuvenate, which is not bothering to use it. Or maybe the other Oracle has rejuvenate. <laughs> I'm confused. But Mjolnir is gonna take up that thief. And the knight's dead. Oh wait, no, the knight is alive. 
So the thief uh, crystallizes for no extra mans. It looks like the uh, enemy thief for um, the Jehovah Rapha, is that it? Yes. The thief is down as well and probably not about to be uh, brought back anytime soon. She got herself too far separated from the rest of the team. Another Earth Slash takes out the Oracle. And a wall on the night, making him super tanky. We got a Hard Egg Strike. Misses. Charm would have been nice there. And be able to get back their Thief. Because chances are she would have gone for a full life. 49% don't act. Nope. Here comes another Earth Slash, or just a Wave Fist, I guess. Which it misses, that's too bad. Confusion Song would be interesting. I don't know. I don't know how that would turn out. They would ignore him. <laughs> You're a dick, Camus, you know that? <laughs> she definitely could have used that crystal. Healing her for 90 really doesn't cut it. Man, all their hits. This is the last of the Oracle's MP. She should be down to like 5. Not very much left anyway. Earth Slash drops the chemist, or the Oracle. Actually, no, f or uh, one of two, or no, no, <laughs> no extra mans, it's a team name. They're really out of MP at this point. The Oracle can grab the crystal if the wizard doesn't get it. But yeah, without, without MP, they're much less uh, destructive force with just the knight there and his punch art. The AI will actually never use teleport to teleport further than their move score. It's just a quirk of the AI. They don't consider the fail rate of 10% per extra move. So it's really just like fly or ignore height on the AI. They don't use it any other way. Oh, this is looking really bad for no extra mans. All right, discovered us something. <laughs> Lucky. Paralyze on the wizard really wasn't even necessary. All she has is a stick. I'm just gonna go in and trigger auto potion on the oracle with their sticks. Silent song. <laughs> it's a little redundant. Auto potion. So the best that they can hope for is that the knight actually takes out everyone by himself. Which could happen. That oracle has auto potion, she could tank a lot of shots while the knight deals with the rest of them. And if the knight gets a mid charge, then he doesn't though. The lancer should go first and actually get a turn in before the knight does. I'm just gonna jump. Oh, no auto potion, that's too bad. I'll wait if this brings him right back down. <laughs> so I think this is the last full life they have, or last life they have in them. I think it costs 10 MP. Slow on the Oracle. That Oracle's probably dead though. Yep. Now the Knight literally has to do it all by himself. If he gets lucky with his HP restores, he might actually do it. Oh, but Spell Absorb. That's nice. She'll get some MP back. They status him. He'll be in a bad spot. Revive. 
It's not even worth your time. <laughs> Unless you chakra. Chakra would be nice. Defy pain. Lancer's back up. Oh, mid charge hit. Nice. All of 12 damage. <laughs> How much MP does she have left? Can't be much. She only got 15 with the uh, MP drain. Well, she's at 16 now. That's not bad. And she can get off a of paralyzer too. Oh, high ether. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> gonna end eventually though. As long as uh, the AI doesn't troll me with HP restoring random crystals and stuff. Auto potion, only do 30 damage. Right? 20 damage? I'm good at basic math, right? <laughs> Time strike from behind, no evasion for that. Still only does 72 damage though. Gonna drop the Oracle. Chemist's probably gonna bring it right back. Nope, she's gonna go for a gunshot. Can't jump on him because the CT was too high, so Mike gets in with a nearly 200 damage punch. And they're just chipping away at him at this point. Oh, there he goes. Alright, Jehovah Rafa wins this match. Nice. Uh, that's it for this video, actually. That went by quick. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.